All right, here we are for our run and driving video of our 73 F100. We're running nice and smooth. She's idling about 7800 right now, so if you want to crank it up, but it just runs nice and smooth. Got all the lights working. You see no smoking. Rear lights working. And we make sure all the lights are working, even even your uh, license plate lights on the bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the. This light's working. We're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, hit the road. The only thing that's not working. Oh, I want to uh, also on the uh, motor. A couple things I forgot to mention because I was gonna replace them, but I mean, honestly, I just uh, forgot to do it. Obviously, you got your duct tape here. <laughs> this piece is original. These are super cheap and easy to replace. Uh, this piece here also. Um, I was gonna rehook them, but I just kind of just forgot. Um, until I was doing the photos and saw it, but uh, getting very minor. And then on the passenger side, there's a little bit of duct tape on the seat belt deal um, that you can see in the pictures. So we're gonna go ahead and roll up the window. You can see the e-brake obviously works. It's a three on the tree. Um, it's, if you're not used to a three on the tree, um, it's super easy. It's basically just, you know, you take your floor shifter and reverse it. So you got reverse up here, first, second, third and away you go factory am stereo pretty sweet it still works uh, rain starting to come down a little bit so you'll probably see the wipers kick in but so the, oh again yeah, the temp gauge um, just stopped working it worked when I first got it so I'm gonna replace that uh, so just assume it works um, there'll be a note on the ad if uh, we do put a temp gauge on there it doesn't do anything so um, just look for that. So if you don't see nothing, it's good to go. Just amazing this thing still works. I mean, it's obviously never been used by the inside of the uh, by the inside of the uh, ashtray and the inside of how it looks. You're gonna have to bear with me a little bit here. It's kind of uh, rush hour traffic. So I'm really hoping we can get on the freeway and. Uh, get out on the freeway and get some speeds up on this thing but the steering is very tight it's a really quick it's a really quiet drive um, easy to shift really tight linkage clutch feels really nice lifts kind of where it should um, but you know you want to with being a three on the tree in the six cylinder you know you want to shift the kind of the higher of the rpms if you shift at real low rpms like I did there uh, you know it'll lug out a little bit so those are all kinds of things to get used to um, heater works really good you know hopefully you can hear that blower motor nice and smooth but the steering I mean, this thing just runs and drives awesome I mean it breaks smooth and tight um, nice smooth accelerations uh, it's not a truck you got to be worried about if you you're out for a cruise or you're taking it to work and you hit rush hour traffic it's not gonna overheat on you it's not going to die on you. It's not going to also ch choke it out or anything. It's just just a killer little truck. Um, really in quiet inside, cabin drive wise, no rattles. Um, you know, we'll hit a pothole here. I mean, it just soaks them up. It's just really quiet. So we're going to go ahead and get out on the highway here. see the speedometer working and all that stuff and I'm in third gear there obviously uh, you know speedometer says 100 miles an hour but uh, I wouldn't suggest that you know they had to be screaming some serious high RPMs but I mean you can see how this thing drives it is just quiet smooth and tight I mean, there's absolutely no wind noise coming in this thing. I mean, all the original weather seals are in good shape. It does not leak any water. You know, I had it parked outside when I first got it for a week and a half. Um, in Washington, we get a lot of water. But, you know, but we don't use salt on the roads. We don't get a lot of, you know, snow on this side of the mountains. Um, so, you know, we'll, you know, no rust. So that's kind of a, a huge trade-off, you know. Um, but, boy, that heater works good. You want to have it to 
off of cool if you're cruising down the road and it's warm out, but uh, just pulls up the hill nice and smooth. It's just, you know, you can get off the gas and punch it. It doesn't pop and kick through the carburetor. Um, it doesn't fall on its face. It's just, here's some more bumps. Just soaks them up really nice. Hitting on the brakes, doesn't pulsate. You can see the nice reflection on the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and downshift a second. Get going on the hill. We're gonna exit here. You can see all your lights working. I'm gonna turn a nice sharp corner here. You can see it's nice and tight. No play in the steering, and there's just no ball joints, no tie rod issues. Popper into neutral. And there we go. Alrighty, so let's go into no reserve. So good.